Albert Einstein is often attributed with the definition of insanity, which is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Hi, I'm Sophie Summers and welcome to the Crossing the Lifestyle channel. Now, I want to start off with a couple of assumptions and a fact. The assumptions are that you are either a tea girl, an admirer, or you are interested in aspects of cross-dressing, hence the reason for you watching this particular video. Now, the fact that I was referring to was that over 50% of you are going to click away within the first 30 seconds of watching this video. I find that astounding, but it's actually true. That and lots of other information and facts about the analytics of this channel have absolutely astounded me over the last couple of weeks and I want to share some of those with you because I think it's very important because the success of this channel going forward is dependent on you, purely you. In other words, what is it that you actually want to see? What is it that really interests you? Because I can keep creating all sorts of videos on loads of different topics but it is extremely disheartening to find out the number of viewers that actually watch, subscribe and even contribute to the channel. Now a couple of little factoids here that may underpin that is I have produced 160 videos to date and an average I think it is roughly about 83 subscribers per video. Now for each minute that you're actually watching here on YouTube it takes me about two to two and a half hours of timing in terms of putting makeup on, filming, editing, putting the sound correctly and trying to make a good quality of video, something that you would like to watch. Also, the very interesting thing is that yes, this channel is subject to advertising. In other words, there is some revenue that I do get back from the adverts they put on there. Now, on the last calculation I did, I think I get somewhere in the region of about a pound to a pound 12p per 1,000 views, which is basically nothing. Now, out of the current 13,800 subscribers I've acquired over the time I've been doing this, 0 0.003, yes, 0 0.003 are what I would consider to be members of the site that contribute £1.99 or £2.99 per month to the channel and I am extremely, extremely grateful to those 41 members that currently do that. Now the astounding thing also is I receive roughly 67% of that value after YouTube have taken their particular percentage and the company that do the process payments. So, you don't have to be a mathematician to work out that it is impossible, impossible to make any form of a living out of doing videos of this nature. And hence the reason why when I started, I said to myself, I will keep going for as long as I'm enjoying it because I'm not looking at making money out of this particular aspect. But the one thing that is disturbing me quite a lot is why are you watching? What are you hoping to see? Because if I can understand that, I'm pretty sure I can produce better quality content that will be actually more interesting to you. Now, if you are somebody that's watching this um, hoping to learn something about makeup or trying to get confidence, that's fantastic. Because you must be the other 50% of the people that kind of watch almost to the end. And it's you that I am really, really grateful for. But I do need your input, please. And this is one thing that does upset me. Now, Another little factoid here, which does astound myself. During the period of time I've run this particular channel, I've done all sorts of giveaways, amounting, according to my accountant, at well over £1,000 worth of retail value. I've given away for nothing as a way of supporting people that maybe don't have the luxury of being able to obtain goods, or, I don't know, they just, they just can't get hold of them. And I'm very grateful that suppliers will give me things and I will give them on to you wherever I can. Yet, for some of those giveaways, particularly the one I did not that long ago with wigs, out of the 10 wigs I could give away, I only gave away seven of them because there was only seven people that actually bothered to reply and put their name down. It was something for nothing. So the actual, what I would call, um, lethargy of people that watch 
these type of videos because it's free it's all free on the internet and long may it be that way on YouTube because people the creators such as myself we get some sort of commercial um, pleasure out of it by a small amount of money that comes in as a result of you watching this if there are adverts on it now when I say if I've had a lot of my videos which I consider to be very vanilla and very informative actually not qualify for um, having any form of advertising on it because of YouTube requirements particularly when reviewing some products such as silicon breastplates breast forms silicon hips any form of lingerie for some reason they don't comply now I don't consider them to be in any way offensive or overly revealing but I can't do anything about it and the downside of that is if they get no revenue from YouTube they obviously do not promote them so you dear viewer have to go hunting out for them and they are not recommended to you so as I say help me to help you because if I get better guidance in other words if you put things in the comments that I can action on I will do it if there's something that you want a video shot on as long as I can do it I will do it I just want to create content that's appealing to you and my number of subscribers goes up and my number of viewers go up because that's what gives me a bit of reward knowing that what I'm doing is worthwhile so I know this is a bit of a rant and maybe a little bit selfish but please bear in mind that you're sitting here watching this I'm a working away for quite a long period of my free time to produce things that hopefully you will find of interest but I can't keep repeating the same things over and over again as Einstein said repeating the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result is insanity and I want to keep my sanity if you don't mind so please what I would say to you is if there's anything that you wish me to do a video on or you want to see or there's any improvements let me know in the comments below get involved we have a website as well trans life is one way you can get hold of us but also you can get through our own website which is crossdressing lifestylecom we are trying to build a community and help each other out the best we can but without you putting any input in it's me talking to a camera that's all it really is so that's the end of the rant and the rave. As I say, if you are a tea girl, an admirer, or somebody's interested in cross-dressing and you want to see better quality content or more specific to you, the only way you're going to do it is to let us in the community and those that produce the type of content know I can't second guess. So, thank you very much for staying to the end if you have. If you're one of the 50% that went away, well, obviously, we have no interest to you. But we will keep going, or I will keep going, until such times as I fear there is nothing more for me to do. But hopefully that's a long way away. So thank you very much for watching and getting through this rant of mine. Please stay gorgeous, stay safe, and until the next time, bye-bye.